Assalamu alaikum guys Hazrat Google has passed a fatwa declaring Mirza Masroor as the fifth caliph of Islam Now mainstream Muslims consider this laughable because the Ahmadiyya also known as the Qadiani sect aren't regarded as Muslims. Now here's why. Alright guys, so Allah has emphatically called Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam as the seal of the prophets in chapter 33 verse number 40. So there are numerous mutawatir narrations from companions. Mutawatir means so many sahih authentic chains that it is simply absurd to deny that categorical fact. And you have the major commentaries on the Quran that further support this point like Qurtubi, Ibn Kathir and the writings of Al-Ghazali. And the Ummah is in a consensus that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam is the final prophet, the final messenger. So the founder of this sect is somebody called Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani. So in his book he rejects that revelation has stopped with the prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Yeah and he goes on to say that whoever believes such is from the religion of shaitan and will be led to the hellfire. And he goes on to say that actually he is the seal of the prophets. In another place where he's talking about him being a prophet, he also mentions that he is the Messiah as well. And then comparing himself to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, may peace, mercy and blessings of Allah be upon him. He goes on to say, the moon went into eclipse for him. And for me, both the sun and moon went into eclipse. <laughs> and then he goes on to say that God once said to him, you are like my son. And he goes on to write, In a dream I saw that I am the Lord and I firmly believed that it was so. Wow. And in another place he wrote, In a vision I saw that I am God and then firmly believed it was so. <laughs> then in another place he claims that he was Maryam, the mother of Isa alayhi salam, and then he became pregnant and then he felt the pangs of birth and gave birth to Isa alayhi salam, Jesus. And then he became Isa alayhi salam. And then, and then in another place he says, Mirza was supposed to be a man, but then he became severely ill and lost his manhood. I think there's too much information there, buddy. I mean, is there anything this guy has not claimed? Wait, in a couplet he also said, I am neither an insect nor son of a man. I am the place of shame on a human and insult to mankind. Which place of insult? I mean you've got like the front, you've got the back. I mean which one is it? Either way I think I speak for everyone when I go ew. On that, we agree. Even when it comes to his own family yeah. So he made a point, he goes anyone who abandons the sunnah, shaves the beard, grows the moustache and dresses like the Christians is the worst of all creatures. Here is a picture of Mirza Nasir, his grandson and the third leader or Pope of the Qadianis. Here you have Mirza Tahir, again his grandson and the fourth Pope of the Qadianis. And here you have Mirza Masroor, his again grandson, he likes to keep it in the family and the fifth Pope of the Qadianis, which according to him are the worst of all creatures. Let's move on to his prophecies. He's got many failed prophecies but I've just picked three. The first prophecy, he had an ex-follower called Abdul Hakim who predicted that Mirza would die before August 1908. Mirza fought back and said, God has told me that the liar will pass away first. And not only will he pass away, he will suffer and be ruined also. As I'm sure you know where I'm going with this, Mirza was the first one to pass away. He passed away 26th May 1908. Number two, Mirza challenged a scholar by the name of Sheikh Sanaullah Amritsari. And he made a prayer and he said, whoever is wrong, may he die, but may he be afflicted with a plague, cholera, or something similarly painful and then may he be punished and die in the lifetime of the other.
In May 1908, Mirza started vomiting and suffered from acute diarrhea and died in that state. But I know what you're thinking, what about the Sheikh? Well, the Sheikh had a lovely life for an additional 40 years after Mr. Mirza passed away. The third prophecy was that Mirza prophesied that he would get married to a girl called Muhammad Begum. Yeah, in fact, he said that their nikah has been done in the heavens. The father of the girl wasn't buying any of this and rejected Mirza and gave her to some soldier. Mirza didn't call it quits. He said, the soldier will die and then she will come to me and we will live together. And if he doesn't, then, and I quote, Mirza said, I will be the worst of the worst. I think you know what I'm going to say. The soldier soldiered on after Mirza passed away for another 40 years and had a happy marriage with Muhammad Begum and Mirza did not get to marry her. Now guys, there's loads of fallacies that I can present of this individual. I'm just going to end with a few just logical common sense things that makes him very distinct from 124,000 prophets that have come before him. If you notice guys that any prophet that you guys can name right now has a single barrel name Adam, Idris, Nu, Hud, Saleh. But look at this individual, he has a compound name Mirza, Ghulam, Ahmad and then Qadiani. Number two, the prophets didn't write any books, they were given books. But Mirza on the other hand wrote 23 books which are compiled in a voluminous collection called Ruhani Khazain. And if you guys notice the names of even the books in that collection, they are compound names. But if you look at Torah, Zabur, Injil, Quran, they're single barrel names. Prophets didn't have teachers, yeah? Because if a prophet has a teacher, then it's like the teacher is superior to the prophet and the credit of that prophet goes to the teacher, you know what I'm saying? So it's not befitting for a prophet to have a teacher. But Mirza on the other hand had a teacher called Fazal Ahmad who was the servant that was hired by his father to teach him Quran and Hadith. In fact he was revising for uh, an exam, it's called the Mukhtari exam, Yeah, it's like a clerical exam to be employed. He failed that as his own son admits. And number four, we know angels, yeah? Jibreel, Mikael, Israel, Israfil. But Mirza's angels were different, yeah? In fact, even their names are rather odd. Yeah, let me tell you about two that stood out to me. The first one, uh, Tichi, Tichi, Tichi. The other one came in the form of a British man and called himself Darshani. Yeah, I mean, who are these angels? <coughs> All right, guys, let's leave it there. Inshallah, that's food for thought for you guys. For further reading, I'll leave some links in the description. Until next time. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum.